G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, JD, and we're here, we're staring at plastic because, oh boy, did plastic take some time to, th to work out. So, plastic is, um, difficult, to put it nicely. Um, on a, on a per chem plant, it's, it's really not that bad. Um, so you take in six coal and you get out 17 plastic. The problem is... Three chem plants is 51 plastic, okay? So three chem plants is enough to completely fill a belt, which means you need one chem plant putting out on one side of the belt, you need the other chem plant putting on the other side of the belt, and then you need the last chem plant to sort of fill in any gaps and, 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 and fully stock the belts. And it's that last chem plant that took, I want to say three hours, Maybe that's too much. Probably two hours. Two hours to sort out. And I apologize for the screenshots. Um, I've got the screenshots working, sort of. It turns out that the application has a maximum of one gigabyte for a JPEG. And I've gone over that limit. A long time ago, actually. Um, about 30% of the map ago, I actually went over that limit. Um, and each chunk of bitmaps is like four gig of uh, storage. So I could only take, you know, uh, about 20 more before I run out of space on the one terabyte hard drive. Um, there are other games on the hard drive, but the screenshots is like 400 gigabytes of the hard drive. Anyway, enough for getting sidetracked. So we've got this cam plant outputting on one side of the belt. Oh. You need to be rearranged. Uh, we'll fix you up later. I don't know how, but we'll fix you up later. Um, we've got this chem plant outputting on this side of the belt. We have this chem plant outputting on this side of the belt. You'd think a single stack inserter would be fast enough. It's not. You'd think two stack inserters would be fast enough. They're not. You actually need a stack inserter and you need a fast inserter. Because it turns out, and this is this is on, so 1745, I did all this on. I'm now on 17. 47 um so it turns out because i had to update to confirm or to to alleviate the inconsistency with inserters and and speed up stack inserters slightly so what actually happened long story short um is these stack inserters were picking up off undergrounds um that didn't work i had to actually have them picking off picking up off a belt so this underground popping up here and then a flat bit of belt and then going back under turns out that still didn't work either i needed to have a run of about three tiles it seemed to be and moving it back to four because why not of straight belt for this stack inserter to not be what was holding up this cam plate okay um and like i said this is one of the reasons it took so long the first one and the third one worked perfect in the series it was just this one in the middle so step one uh get rid of that problem step two have these guys output fast enough um two stack inserters would not out pass, output fast enough because they both go to swing at almost the same time there wouldn't be enough material in the chem plant so i gotta get a stack inserter which fills up the belt and you see it better on this one Stack inserter does a great job of filling up this belt. The fast inserter is feeding in beforehand and keeps making the stack inserter pause because it's got nowhere to put the items because the fast inserter has already put items on the belt. But it means the stack inserter is constantly trying to empty the belt. No, the fast inserter is constantly trying to empty the machine and the stack inserter is grabbing large chunks out at a time and filling up the belt. Um, and as you can see, there are still gaps in the belt. Um, because these machines are not designed to fill out a whole belt. They come to the third machine. Now, the third machine doesn't really run very often, but it does run enough to max out the belts. These need a long run of belt. Um, basically, this becomes a buffer. So when we do have these gaps through, things can slide off this belt buffer in to fill up those gaps. So, after that nightmare was sorted out, I could then duplicate it a second time. Um, I have had to bring the belt up, squiggle it through, and run it down. It does mean because of the odd placement, I can't actually share any beacons at all. At least with the row above. Um, this is back in the main base. Uh, 
So I was hoping to share the beacons. I can't. Bad luck. Boohoo. Move on. Now, these guys take in 40 coal, which is not quite a full build. That's perfect. Output 102 plastic. Now, obviously, they can't output 102. They can only output 90 because we've got two blue belts moving 45 each. So they're not taking quite 39 plastic. They're also not using quite 786 oil uh, petroleum. It turns out they're using about, we'll call it 770, 760-ish petroleum. I haven't done the exact maths. And yeah, like 36, 37, who gives a damn? 30-something coal. Um, so... After saying all that, I've got a blueprint works. I've come down. I've pasted it down. Now, each one of these blueprints puts out two belts. So this is input for coal. This is output for plastic, output for plastic, 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 coal, coal, plastic, plastic, so on and so forth. It also has one pipe for um, petroleum in. So we need, go back to my calculator, we need four. 13 and a half belts of plastic. Um, these are done in twos. So, oh, screenshot machine. Goodbye, another three gigabytes of hard drive space. Um, oh, side note, the time lapses actually look really good. Um, oh, no, th they look very high resolution. I'm hoping I can do something with them. So, um, we've got seven rows, which actually gives us 14 belts worth of total plastic output. And that's sort of as far as I've got. Our light oil to solid fuel is done. Um, and now we have to load balance everything, which is really what today's episode is going to be about. So we're going to start with a light oil. Light oil is 3,300 light oil per second, which is more than one pipe can manage. Um, in fact, it's more than a couple of pipes can manage. So... First thing we need to do, do I really not have pipe on me? Oh. I went and emptied my inventory before I started. And obviously took out the pipe. Um, you, no, you have pipe. I'm going to want a bit. I have a feeling. So I want to get two things done. I want to get oil loaded into the refineries, blueprinted down. Um, so I know what it looks like, how it operates, all that sort of stuff. And I want to get these guys done. Now, each pipe segment, as is, uses... It's not a big build at all. 1,100. So, technically, one pipe can keep up, but it does mean I'm going to have to be fairly, uh, fairly regular with my pumps to get the throughput I need. Uh, it also means I'm going to want to do... Something like this. Uh, I'm going to want to have you pumping that way. that way probably with another booster pump halfway down in actual fact um, okay so what we're gonna do because I'm gonna go around a corner I'm gonna use a tank for my corner piece um, because it's still one tile of fluid. And that's really the key. It's one fluid tile. Um, compared to using three pipes. Um, so it's just a little tiny itty bitty UPS saving that I can do. Um, so I'm going to do it. Uh, so I want a pump and then a tank. And then I want another pump and another tank. Um, the main reason I'm doing this is I want to, I got four lanes or four groups, lanes, whatever you want to call it, of light oil. I really want to take each one of those and pump them directly into a tank. Hopefully that's, that's, that's the grand goal. 
Um, whether or not that works or not, I don't know. Okay, that goes, and this side can be moved. Don't forget, I can, I can rearrange things. Uh, light oil is here. It's roughly the same width. Is it actually, no, I was going to say. Is it actually light oil in that pipe? No. Uh, now your light oil, so you're doing, hang on, we're doing 756 light plus 800 light. to get 100 at bonus so we're still going to have a good portion of the light out of this top lane as well so I need to bring that down okay so I'm going to copy this so can I line that up there nice, nicely I can great cut all of that Do I want to line that up there? Think screenshot machine. And one of those got to go up and wrap around. We can do that just. And then one's got to go in there. Okay. Or do I want to force those down to about this height? Okay. Undo cut. Just put stuff back real quick. Okay. Let's bring you back a tile. That's a little bit better. Uh, how much did we say you guys output? You guys output like 900, right? 900. So I don't have to be... Let's do actually that. I don't have to be as diligent on the pumps here. Now if I put that... We're getting very close, very, very close. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, you move back a tile. You move back a tile. We're going to bring this down. We're going to put a pump here and a pipe. So we're going to force our light oil in there. We're gonna put another pump here and force our light oil in there. We're gonna put another pump and force our light oil in there and there. So we're bringing this lane, this lane, and this lane into this tank. And I'm taking this bottom lane into the second tank. It should be okay, I hope. Um, it's it's this is this is one of the joys of Mega Basic. You don't actually know if things are gonna work until you actually power them on. Um, so it could be a real mess. Go bots. Go, go bots. So now we just need to pick up the whole blueprint and just move it over like half a dozen times. Yay! That's all right. After I get this started at least. Yeah, I need to run out of space. My chest with stuff. Please put all the stuff in a box. After we get this started, so I know where things line up, I can paste it down and then I can do the rest off camera because you don't really need to see me pick up a pick up a blueprint and move it over half a dozen tiles. Uh, pick up that, pick up that, pick up that. Come on, bots, in my inventory. Uh, you don't need a pump, but you're gonna get a pump anyway. Okay, 
Because the idea is very much after this system boots up, there's not a lot of leeway, I probably use the best way of putting it. There's not a lot of leeway to say, hey, we can store a little bit of, you know, store store a little bit too much of overflow of heavy oil or, or light oil or whatever. There are tanks placed around, um, but they're not really designed for sort of like an overflow area. It's really going to be heavily ratioed um, to run, you know, at max speed at all times. Okay. So that's that done. I'm going to trim back the trees because I like to be able to see my build. Don't know why. Just do. Okay. So that's light oil done. Which may need to get moved again. I will, I will say that. It may need to get moved again because I still need to get petroleum out of this. So I've got petroleum, 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 and petroleum. And ideally, I like this. I like this build with it sort of out of the way. Um, but our petroleum is a whole separate nightmare. Our petroleum is... Come on, scroll further. 900 for a short row. Uh, 1100 for a la uh, for, for a long row. Uh, so we're going to have four, plus we're also going to have the petroleum from this output, which is 700. And technically I can't merge this petroleum and that petroleum because it's too much for, for a single pipe. So then I'm going to have to use multiple pipes. And that in itself is going to become its own separate nightmare. So, my choices are limited, is the answer. Um, okay, I don't want to move light oil over because it's fairly well located. Um, I do want to put that pipe down because otherwise I'm going to forget. Um, you are hooked up. Yeah, okay. We just don't have pictures on the petroleum tanks. Okay. No, I can't use a tank there. Okay, so we're going to have to bring you down. Alright, and that means we're going to have to bring you... Out. Can I can I do the exact same actually? Can I? That's one tile. That's two tiles. That's three tiles. Possibly. Maybe this is what I can do. I can sort of do like a main bus of petroleum. You're a corner, so you know what? I'm going to take the advantage again. I'm going to use a tank. I'm going to push that back. And we're going to put a pump in there. Or I want a pump here. Eh! Either or. Um, okay, so this... Can you move over? I think you can. Well, I don't see why you can't. It's probably more accurate. So why didn't I do that in the first place and keep that beacon? Not that I need that beacon. I already know I don't need it. Okay. So petroleum out into into a tank into a pump this petroleum that's a whole different story it's got to go in here so I'm going to put it through a pump first bring it down You're at maximum distance. You're no longer at maximum distance. Okay, so let's move you up and move you up. 
we're going to use another tank to do another turn. And I guess we're going to do that. Okay, so petrol, petrol, petrol brings us down here. In that case, I'm putting down all pumps and uh, after two, we're going to remove all those. We're going to put in all pumps again to make sure the flow rate stays nice and high. <sighs> These aren't merged together yet. Shit. And even after I merge them together, I've still got to run them potentially through tanks to keep the flow rate high. See, the flow rate of a pump uh, is 1200 per second, um, which technically means a tank is basically the same flow rate. So if I go from there to there, and then I put that there, that has merged this line and this line together. Okay, so that means I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Uh, you two are too close to one another. So if I do a pump, a tank, and screenshot machine. So I'd have to put down another pump, another tank, and wrap things around the outside. Okay, so a pump, a tank. You can do all options are bad options. Yeah. And I guess. Like I said, no idea if this is going to work until we actually get it built. Uh, wrong place. Uh, so then we can copy paste that. Put that there without those two bits of pipe. Now if I'm really lucky, like really, really lucky... that will line up with that. So let's go with straight pipe. You're two tiles short. You're two tiles short. Awesome. I am really lucky. Except all of that needs to move up two tiles. Undo, undo, undo the ghost placement. Yeah, we're good so far. <sighs> Do I need pumps? How much did you need? Like 900 or something? 700. 700. So technically, I don't need pumps. Technically. I'm just putting a pump after the fact. Uh, no, we're going to extend this out one more because that is a lot of belts that I still need to thread through this area. So, drop the blueprint down. Uh, talk to the Roboport gods. Yep. Uh, storage box. Storage box. Go for it, bots. Go do stuff and things. I 
Unfortunately, I've got robots sitting here waiting to put stuff down, which they can't because there's other stuff in the way. And the robots that have been assigned to pick up stuff are doing a crap job. So yeah, as long as I keep moving around, eventually I'll wander out the area, out of the area of things. Uh, at which point everything will be mostly in my inventory. Uh, plants. And yeah, I can just throw stuff out of my inventory, put it in storage, and hopefully then my bots just become the decon bots. They'll just clean up what needs to be cleaned up, like so. And then they can get about the job of putting stuff back. You can get some power up here. Can I just throw it up there? No. There we go. Uh, put some more stuff down here. Pick up, play, pick up the block game. Is it me or is this slower? It's slower now that we don't have a steel axe. I know it should be the exact same speed, it just feels slower. Okay, are we done? If I empty that chest, none of my robots should fly off with things to do because it all should be replaced. Awesome. No, there's bots flying off to do things. Not quite awesome, but that looks awesome now. Okay. No, that goes back. So, decon planner. We want to remove all the straight pipe, which there was exactly one of. I'm glad I put effort into making sure I had a decon planner for that. Copy, paste, screenshot. Come on, I just want to paste this stuff in. There. Paste. Uh, paste. 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 So by the time we get down here, these tanks should be very empty. Uh, substation love in. Oh. In. There. There. There and there. Okay. Yeah, don't get me wrong. This is terribly over-engineered. Um, honestly, I would actually be better to try to make sure I used all this petroleum for one build or three builds or however many builds than all the next petroleum for the next so many builds. Would probably be a better idea overall. Might lead to less pipes overall. I'm not sure. Um, there's really no way of knowing without actually building both of them. Um, okay, one more substation. No, not pipe, substation in there. Um, yeah, there's no real no way of knowing without building it. Um, but what I have definitely works. Definitely should be more than enough. Uh, more than capable of doing everything that I needed to do. And it's just going to come to routing 16 belts, 14 belts, 14 belts of plastic out this end, or potentially reverting the whole lot, having the plastic come out this side, which is maybe not a bad idea, along with like four belts of coal. Um, so that's something else I've got to keep in mind. Wherever I decide that I'm going to put the oil build, i got to make sure there's coal locally, preferably locally, um, to, to keep things moving. Uh, anyway, I'm going to call it here for this episode. I'm going to move this build along bit by bit by bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye.